angry guy here and women are throwing tantrums because men won't date them and are becoming password bros instead. Women are throwing tantrums because the men won't date them and are becoming password bros instead. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. We can see that women are basically lo beginning to lose it because as they are seeing that men are walking away from society and it's becoming more and more difficult to find a man that's even willing to speak to them or to take them on a date. It's really. My one girlfriend was telling me this story that happened to her the other weekend and she says this guy looked at her dead in the face and was like, I'm not going to chase you. There doesn't even need to be a backstory on this guy because he's so irrelevant, but he said, I'm not going to chase you. First of all, you need the steps. Second of all, you want us to give you flowers? Third of all, is it like, is it a testosterone thing? Like, I actually don't understand what's going on because there's been a lot of instances that I have seen men want princess treatment. And I'm just like, astonished i'm shocked I'm shocked women wanted the privilege guys this is guys these women are so narcissistic i told you all about this in another video that they're right now seeing what's happening and they just don't believe it this is because they still have a lot of sims orbiting them but they don't really realize that these sims are not marriageable men all right so, the, so they're basically saying, oh, these guys are just losers. These guys are just lame. The men who are not kissing up to us, the men that are rejecting us, the men who are telling us, we're not chasing you. We're like, you know, you're going to treat us with respect or we're not going to deal with you. All right. I'm not, I'm the prize. And they're like, excuse me, you want to be treated like a princess? No. All right. All right. I'm the only princess. I'm the only, I'm the only princess. And they're like, you're irrelevant. And you're, and you're probably gay too. Like, oh, because that's what they always do. They're like, oh, I, I love gay people. I have tons of gay friends, but you're definitely gay because you have standards and you're, and, and, and you made me feel bad. Of, and you tried to make me feel bad about myself and, 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 and devalue myself. So yeah, you're gay. And gay is great. I love gay, but not when it's on you. You, you're, uh, you're awful. You're just played out awful. They're like, listen to her. He's just irrelevant. And she's like, I've been seeing so many men wanting the princess treatment, basically wanting to be respected and letting women know that they're not chasing them and they're not putting them with the shit anymore. Well, guess what? The funny thing is that they're going to, like I said, I said this in another video. Right now, you know, they're with their little friends and they're going, oh my gosh, you know, do you see how these men are today? They seem to think like they're the prize. Uh, oh, honey, you're not the prize. I'm the prize. You need to step your game up. All right, you broke boy. And then uh, listen, this is what's this is what's gonna happen, guys. I t I've I've called the future so many times. People have been it's been almost nine years since I've been doing this, and I've told I told y'all this would happen. I call I said it years ago. Men would leave the West. You're watching that happen now with the passive bros and men walking away from society. And now what you're gonna watch? What are you what you're gonna witness is over the next two years. Are you gonna see this happening? As, as time progresses, right now women are laughing, but they're beginning to wake up and see men walking away, men dropping out, and they're basically talking to their friends and saying, uh, yeah, these are like, yeah, don't worry about him, honey. This guy's he's not crap. There's more guys, more fish in the sea. You know, men will always want us because that's the belief that they have. All right, a year from now, they're not going to give a shit. Two years from now, you're going to see a lot of them crying on the internet, and you're going to see some crying even now because because like you know it's it's, it's going to take time to catch up, and as more years pass, it's going to become, it's going to become kind of it's going to begin picking up momentum. So the more it's like you know it's going to begin picking up momentum, and the more momentum it picks up, the more women that you're going to see beginning to scream and holler that men are that men are not are no longer speaking to them, men are dropping out of society, men. Are, you know, men, men don't want to have anything to do with them. Men won't date them. Because I mean, at first, they're going to find themselves not being able to get dates with the guys that they want. Then they're going to find themselves not being able to get guys dates with the guys they don't want. Meaning, the, you know, the guys that they friend zone, but, they, but they've been using. Those guys won't date them either. When they see those beta male orbiters beginning to drop off and disappear, and they find out that these dudes are going overseas, and they look at the women, because they look at the women that these men are dating overseas and they try to shame these women but no matter how much they try to shame them and no matter how much delusion they try to use they have to realize bro eventually they have to because these these women they know they know when they look at look look at a woman and a woman is more attractive than they are and eventually they'll look at these women and go this woman is younger than i am she's prettier than i am and i cannot live up to her and eventually they're going to realize it they'll they'll have to admit it to themselves even if they won't admit other things, 
the women over there look better than they do. They are they are younger, they're more attractive, okay, and the men desire them and are treating them like princesses. All right, and they're spending money on them. And while these women can't can't rub two dimes, rub two nickels together, while their their cars are getting repossessed, while their homes are being foreclosed on, while they're while they're applying for food stamps, and they're getting and and they're being told that it's going to be a couple of weeks before they hear back. And you know they, they got like a little emergency, they got like emergency funds of like fifty dollars, but the fifty dollars already ran out the first time they went to the first time they went and bought. Bought, bought something from 7-Eleven, and now they're there with their hungry bellies, and, you know, hunger is really setting in, and, they, and they're going to have to humble themselves. They go to a soup kitchen, and for the soup kitchen, they thought they thought the soup kitchen is going to deliver. They don't deliver. You have to go, and you have to wait on, <laughs> wait on a line, and now they're hopping on Tinder, and they try to find dudes on Tinder to bring them food, and that's not happening, all right? <laughs> guys, the guys on Tinder... <laughs> oh. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen with Tinder. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with Tinder. What's going to happen with Tinder is you're going to have dudes lurking on Tinder. And they're gonna they're, they're gonna troll these women. They're gonna ghost these women. So these women are gonna go on Tinder, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you're like, oh yeah, you're so and so. Like, let's go on a date. So meet me here." And they're gonna go, and these dudes are not gonna show up. Dudes are not gonna show up. And they're going to, like, try to get guys to bring them food or bring them pizza. I thought a lot of women use that trick, like, oh, bring a pizza to my place, you know. And dude's like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll be there. And I will be there in, like, I'll be there in 30 minutes. What do you like? Oh, sure, yeah, I'll be there in 30 minutes. And, like, 45 minutes later, they're, like, they're, like, hitting up the guy. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Like, an hour later, they're hitting up the guy. He's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I was in traffic. I, ha- I have the pizza, and I'm on my way over to you right now. And you're, oh, you're on so and so street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. You're like, because I was, they're starving at this point. All right. Hour, 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 twenty minutes later, they're like, oh, well, I guess he's almost here. He's right. I'm just gonna wait. I'm almost gonna wait. I'm not gonna die. I'm a big girl. All right. Two hours later, she's messing up. She's like, what the hell is going on with this guy? So she drops, so like, she's like, she's like trying to message him. And she realized like suddenly his his profile is gone on, his profile isn't even on Tinder anymore. And, he, and she's blocked. She can't reach him. And she's like, oh my gosh. And so she's like sitting there hungry at home and her belly is growling. And she doesn't want to drink the tap water because she doesn't have bottled water. And she's there crying her eyes out, and she's calling her girlfriends, and her girlfriends aren't picking up the phone. All right, and like, and things are not, and things are not going good, and guys. I'm telling y'all, this is the this is the harsh reality that women are headed for. And again, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, consider subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications, never miss another video again, hitting the like button because it tells YouTube that hey, I want to see more of these videos, and YouTube will put more on your suggested on your your suggested videos, and as well as on your homepage. And guys. If you want to help me to continue putting out more content, give me some Red Bull money. You can drop me some cash via Cash App or PayPal or Venmo. The links are on the screen. You can also find the links in the description of the video. Women don't realize that they are at the end. They don't realize that winter is already here, but they've been acting the fool for so long. They've been on this pedestal that they cannot, they could never fathom that this is a decline for them, that they are witnessing the actual decline. And guys, as I said, it takes momentum. So as they're going downhill and beginning and being forced to realize men are glitching, Men, there's that men are go, are gone. They're gonna see more and more men leaving, leaving, leaving the West, dropping out of society and leaving the West. All right, guys. I said, I said, right now it's a trend where the password bros is a trend. Trends become more normal. Trends become normalities, and normalities become traditions. And it's gonna become a tradition. You're gonna have 13 year old boys, 13 year old boys talking to Eastern Europe, to, to little girl, little 13 year old girls in Eastern Europe. All right. Like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this girl in Eastern Europe. I'm telling y'all. And they're going to say, daddy, I want to, Bombi, I want to go visit my friend Sarah over at so-and-so over in Slovenia. All right. That's some little shit country in Europe. And that's what's going to happen. All right. You could, this is, this is what's going to happen. All right, these kids are gonna fall in love, and they're gonna get married, and they're gonna have relate, they're gonna get married when they get older. All right, kids, it's gonna start as young as thirteen. I'm telling you right now, you maybe even younger, because boys and it's it's the relationship between boys and girls is abnormal in America, and it's been abnormal for a long time. Usually, kids begin to realize that they're a lot younger than they like each other than before they get to high school. 
I'm telling you that right now. It's just that America is such a strange place because of feminism has infected the relationship between even children. But yeah, no, you're going to see, it's, it's literally going to be like that. You're going to see kids like literally go in high school, like, okay, I'm going to go spend the summer in Europe. I'm going to spend the summer in Europe with my girlfriend. Like, I'm, I'm serious. That's what's, that's where it's headed right now. All right. That's where it's headed because the men are done. Men are absolutely done. And these women are absolutely delusional. What do you guys think about this? What do you think, guys think about these delusional women? The fact that, you know, they're throwing tantrums because men won't date them and are becoming passive roles instead. And they said they, they refuse to accept that the party's over and winter has arrived. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoy these videos, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roles lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.